Whether you eat or skip meat, it's hard not to be astonished and somewhat queasy at the numbers behind the global meat industry. It's worth $90 billion, up nearly five-fold from 1960. It now makes up 30% of human calorie intake. It slaughters 1 billion pigs, 1.2 billion sheep, 1.5 billion cows, and over 21 billion chickens. Our supersized hunger for meat results in a whopper of an environmental impact, contributing around 15% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And don't forget farming's massive water usage. That's where lab-grown meat comes in. Aside from vastly reducing the carbon footprint of your hamburger, it's also a huge new opportunity for startups. Based in Israel, Super Meat is a new venture focused on what experts call clean meat. Tasty meat developed entirely in a lab from starter cells, with no animals harmed in the process. Super Meat CEO Ido Sabir, a vegan for the past two decades, is focusing on chicken meat. First, he wants to produce lab-grown chicken for use in processed foods, before tackling the trickier task of creating a chicken breast that looks just like the real thing. The Israeli team started 2018 by raising $3 million and securing a partnership with a major German poultry producer. That mirrors the world's largest meat company, Tyson Foods, which recently invested in Memphis Meats, a Silicon Valley firm working on lab-grown foods. Over in Japan, Professor Yuki Hanyu is working on a clean meat version of a controversial and pricey delicacy, foie gras. With his startup Integriculture, the Oxford chemistry grad is aiming to put his ethical foie gras in stores by 2021 or 2022, before then moving on to other meats once cell cultivation costs have decreased. But the food revolution doesn't have to involve tweaking DNA. A number of startups are working on plant-based meats that they say will be yummier than the meat alternatives of bygone days. In Singapore, Life3 Biotech is working on what it calls Vigo, which can be braised, steamed, stir-fried, deep-fried, or grilled teriyaki style. It's made from a mix of legumes, grains, and soybeans. Similarly, India's Good Dot has launched vegan mutton and chicken. The younger generations and growing middle class are pushing India away from its roots as a vegetarian country, says Good Dot's Deepak Parihar. By developing a healthier product that provides the taste and texture of meat for the same price, we can reverse the trend toward non-veg. Whichever way you slice it, disrupting a $90 billion market is a tasty proposition.